tech stocks have become an increasingly dominant section of our economy. And over the past two decades, five companies have stood out as growing to unbelievable heights. Here, we're going to visualize the question, how big is big tech? Hi, I'm Tyler from Get Real, and let's get started. Now, before you, every point represents one company in the S&P 500, and the size of each point corresponds to their market capitalization. Now, five points stick out among the rest, and they're Google, Microsoft, Facebook, Amazon, and Apple. But while those dots are eye-catching, it doesn't really do justice to the size comparison. Let's put things in perspective. For this comparison, each point will represent $1 billion. And here are a few well-known companies in the S&P with the respective market cap. At $9 billion, we have Under Armour. At $12 billion, we have Gap. At $23 billion, we have Dish. At $36 billion, we have Hershey. At $47 billion, we have Walgreens. At $125 billion, we have Big Finance. At $400 billion, we have Big Retail. And finally, we have Big Tech. Which requires somewhat of an elevator ride to the top. Facebook at $850 billion. Google 1.4 trillion, Amazon 1.5 trillion, Microsoft 1.8 trillion, and Apple at $2 trillion. But Tyler, you might ask, how do these numbers compare to GDPs of countries? Great question. Each highlighted country has a smaller GDP than the selected company. So, when selected on Amazon, we can see that Brazil, since it's not highlighted, has a greater GDP than the market cap of Amazon but not greater than Apple's. And when we compare the world to their combined market cap, which is about $1.7 trillion, we see there's only a handful of unhighlighted countries with larger GDPs. Now, since their beginning, the big five have acquired over 800 companies with some very notable names like Amazon's Whole Foods Market, Facebook's Instagram, and Microsoft's massive purchase of LinkedIn. While many of the prices remain undisclosed, the ones that are recorded total over $170 billion. These companies can buy whoever they want. Finally, the top five companies represent 23% of the S&P. The bottom 300 companies represent 17. How long will big tech continue to dominate? Everything you saw was created using the tool Flow Immersive. I'm Tyler from Get Real, and Get Real is a certified flow designer. If you'd like to check out this flow in detail, or would like to get your own data on a presentation like this, check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.